Let's add JEI compatibility to our Minecraft mod. Even more topics available in the 121 Minecraft modding courses, now with energy and fluid handling for block entities next to many other awesome topics. Alright, we find us back in Telegrams more and in this tutorial we'll be adding JEI compatibility to our Minecraft mod, which means that basically our custom recipes for our growth chamber block entity will be able to be displayed inside of JEI. This is going to be really freaking cool and you will find this is way more simple than you might imagine. First things first, of course, we need to add JEI to our project over here. And the way to do this is to first of all navigate to the Just Enough Items GitHub repository in order to see what we need to add. We want to scroll down to the JEI developer wiki and here we want to get started with 1.21 for Neoforge, Forge or Fabric and we see a whole bunch of stuff. Now we need to copy a lot of these things over. The first thing here is going to be the two mavens right here. So you can see I basically select both of the mavens. We're going to copy those over. I'm going to go back to our project into the build.gradle file. And we're going to add those below the repository right here. As you can see, that is basically the first step. And the second step here is then going to be the dependency. And we want this for NeoForge, of course, or for, for NeoForge or NeoGradle. That's the one that we want. So we're going to copy both of those over. There you go. And we're going to go to build.gradle to the dependencies right here and that's what we're going to add them just right here that's going to be fine and you can see that it uses the mc version which doesn't exist as well as the ji version which doesn't exist so both of those are actually fields we need to define in the gradle properties file we're going to do the, exactly this so the first thing the mc version we're just going to exchange this for minecraft underscore version and you can see that then turns into violet which means that this exists awesome and then ji version we just define ourselves in the gradle.properties file, we're well, simply saying ji underscore version equal to, and the version here is going to be this one. So this is going to be 1982.99. So this is going to be 1982.99, if I recall correctly. 1982.99 is correct. That should be the newest version that hopefully is going to work. We're going to see if it does. If it doesn't, then of course we can always go down in versions. That's going to be totally fine. But with this, we have everything we need. So now at the top right corner, load Gradle changes. If it doesn't appear, you can open the Gradle tab and simply manually re reload all Gradle projects. And you can see it's now building, it's downloading basically everything that it needs so that JEI will be added to a project even when we simply run it via IntelliJ, which is going to be pretty cool. And you can see that it actually does not work because probably the newest version here is probably not for 1.21. What you can do though is you can go to the listing over here. You can see that the lists is available under the Maven listing. We can take a look at JEI 1.21. It's what we want. We want the one for NeoForge, which would be probably under, um, I guess... Under common probably JEI-121.1-NeoForge, dash dash there it is. So let's go in there and we can see, oh my, we are at a completely different, uh, I mean, look at this, right? We're actually at 1921.1300. That is not the same version that we had before. If we were to take a look at this, this one gives me that version. Okay, yeah, we are way past that. So we can basically copy over the newest one over here. That one should work. So that's going to be... This one, which you can see, we're like, I mean, we're like 13 versions above that. So that's uh, quite interesting. So there you go. Sometimes uh, sometimes it also lies to you, but there we go. That should be fine. So if we were to reload this now, everything is going to probably down it, as you can see. And it only took two seconds for me because I pretty much uh, already have downloaded this. It might take a little bit longer to, for you, but that should be fine. And now that JEI has been added to the game, we can actually make two classes that are going to make it available so that are like our custom recipes, they're going to be available for JI to display that, which is going to be really freaking cool. What's going to happen in the tutorial mod package, a new package, we're going to call this compat for compatibility. And here we're going to have two Java classes. First one is going to be the JI tutorial mod login class. There we go. That's the first one. And the second one is going to be the growth chamber recipe category. There we go. And we're going to start with the category over here. I think we need to sort of loop de loop around one way or the other. I don't, we'll see. It's going to be fine. Anyway, the recipe category is going to implement the iRecipe category interface of type growth chamber recipe. And you can see that the interface over here is actually from MESJI API. So we know that the API has been successfully added. If the iRecipe category is not in your project and it's not available, then obviously you, you must have done something wrong with the build.gradle and the Gradle properties file. Make sure that obviously the JEI 
uh, like JI is properly added, literally exactly like we've done here, then that should be fine. Let's hover over this to implement the methods that we need. And then let's see. So for this, we're going to need a couple of things. The first thing is a UID as well as a texture. Now, in this case, both of those will actually copy over because they are super simple. As per usual, all of the code is available to you down below. Now, the resource location of the UID is simply tutorial mod and then Grove underscore chamber. I use the same UID right here that I use for the custom recipe type, right? So the recipe type, if we go into the mod recipes over here, then we see that the Grove chamber over here is the same idea. So that's going to be the same. And for the texture, obviously, we're simply pointing to the texture that we have under assets, tutorial mode, textures, GUI, Grove chamber, Grove underscore chamber underscore GUI dot PNG. Do not forget the PNG over here. That's very important. And we also need the recipe type. Now, this recipe type is uh, actually the recipe type from JEI. So it's a little bit strange because, uh, but regardless, we're just going to make it public static final. There's going to be a recipe type. And you can see this one is from Mez JEI API of type growth chamber recipe. It's going to be our growth chamber recipe type, recipe recipe type. Sure, that's going to be fine. In equal to a new recipe type, passing in the UID and then passing in growth chamber recipe dot class. That is going to basically enable us to continue with this. And we need two final fields over here. This is going to be two I drawables. So I drawable, private final I drawable, background. And we'll also just duplicate this and we're going to have the not background, but we also need the icon. And what we can simply do here is hover over one of them to add constructor parameters. And we're going to say OK. And that's going to create a constructor here automatically. Now we're going to change this up because we actually won't have an I drawable or two I drawables here as parameters. What we'll actually have as a parameter is the I GUI helper. I'm going to call this helper. And then we can actually set this very easily. The background is going to be equal to helper dot create drawable. And that's going to be passing in the texture 0, 0. And then we're going to have 176 and a height of 85 here in this case. So this is going to draw the texture with a height of 85. So it's going to take 85 pixels from the top down to the bottom. And that's going to draw it. And it's going to draw from left to right. Now, if we see now in theory, you could draw, I mean, however much you want from this texture, if you so choose to, you can also decide if you only want to, you know, like do this like small thing, you could absolutely only draw that. Highly recommend it once again, get this to work once, play around with the numbers a little bit and see what you can come up with. Because, you know, this in this case, then uh, your world, the world is your oyster, basically. For the icon, we're going to say drawable ingredient, exactly right, with the vanilla type, vanilla types dot item stack, and then a new item stack of mod blocks dot, this is going to be for the growth chamber dot get, or as item is going to be fine. I actually think we don't need either of those, neither the get nor the as item. There we go. Because in this case, I want the growth chamber item model to be displayed in as an item, basically for this particular recipe category. Get recipe category, very straightforward. This is the growth chamber recipe recipe type. Easy. Then we have the get title over here, which is going to be component dot literal. And this is going to be the growth chamber. We can We could also use the translatable for the block. So we could use uh, this one right here. Let's actually do that because why the frick not? Right, there's going to be the translatable then. And we're going to choose this one over here. That's going to be growth chamber as well. There we go. So that's going to be okay. The iDrawable icon, crazy enough, is going to be the icon. And that is almost it. And there we have it. And then what we want to do is we want to overwrite the draw method over here so that we can actually draw the background. That's quite important. And what we should be able to do here is simply say background.draw, passing in the GUI graphics. And I'm pretty sure this should basically be everything we need in this case. And then the set recipe, that is where, well, the recipe is being set, crazily enough. Now here, we want to use the builder to build the recipe. You can see we have the growth chamber recipe available. So what we're going to say is builder.addSlot. This is going to be for the recipe ingredient role of input at 54.34. And this is going to add an ingredient and the ingredient is going to add is a recipe that get ingredients. And we're going to get the first one over here by, do, by doing dot get zero. And this is, of course, going to be add ingredients. This is a very, very easy mistake to make. It's going to be add ingredients and then you can add the singular ingredient, uh, whereas add ingredients actually needs you to supply different parameters. It's very strange in this case, but there you go. It's going to be add ingredients and then using the uh, get ingredients method that we have overwritten over here in our growth chamber recipe last time already that where we're going to get the first one. So the one with index zero. And then the last thing here is going to be builder dot add slot or the output. So this is going to be recipe ingredient output at 104, 34, 
And here we're going to add an item stack. And the item stack is recipe dot get result item, passing in a null here for the provider because we just don't need that in this case. And this should be, in theory, the entirety of the growth chamber recipe category done. And we can move on to the JEI mod plugin. Obviously, you're going to need a custom recipe category for each of your custom recipe types. That should basically be sort of self-explanatory, whereas of obviously the mod plugin class, you're going to have one of those and that's going to be okay. On top of it, you're going to have the at JEI plugin interface or rather att attribute, and it's going to implement the iMod plugin over here, where we'll hover over this to implement the get plugin UID method. And that's the only one we need to override, but we're going to override a couple of others as well. This one is going to be resource location from namespace and path tutorial mod .mod ID JEI underscore plugin. There we go. Now we're going to also override the register categories method. We'll override the register recipes method and we'll also override the register GUI handlers method. The register categories, well, is going to register our category. This is the one that we've created right here, which obviously would be quite important. So we're going to have registration dot add recipe categories new growth chamber recipe category, passing in registration dot get GI helpers dot get GUI helper. That is super freaking simple and nothing too crazy. The registering of the recipes, a little bit crazier, but also not too bad. We're going to get the recipe manager over here. So we're just going to make a recipe manager and we're going to get this via Minecraft dot get instance dot level dot get recipe manager. And this one is then going to get us a list of all of the different recipes. And we're going to then add those to the actual growth type. So uh, for the growth to the recipe type. So we're going to have the growth chamber recipe over here. So a list of the recipes. We're going to import the list over here and then we're going to say growth chamber recipes. That's going to be fine. Equal to the recipe manager. That get all recipes for mod recipes dot growth chamber type. And then after the second closing parenthesis, we'll turn this into a stream. And then we're going to map recipe holder colon colon value and we'll make this to a list. In one sentence description, this simply gets us all of the recipes that are associated with the growth chamber recipe. And then we'll simply add all of those by saying registration dot add recipes for the growth chamber recipe category dot growth chamber recipe recipe type and then passing in those recipes. And that will basically combine the all of this list, this entire list over here to this particular type. And finally, we're also going to make a hover effect. So that's going to be when we have the GUI open, then I can hover over the progress arrow and it's going to say click here to see all the recipes and I click on it and then JI will automatically open. That's usually a really cool thing. And that's going to happen in the register GUI handlers method here, registration dot add recipe click area for the growth chamber screen dot class. Then we're going to define the position. The position is at 7430 with a width of 22 and a height of 20. And then the last thing here is this is going to be for the growth chamber recipe category that growth chamber recipe recipe type. Sounds a little crazy, but there we have it. And that is actually everything that we need to add our JI compatibility. So now if your mod is added to a mod pack or just, you know, in general has JI, you know, as well in the in the mod pack, then it will display your custom crafting recipes as well. And the greatest thing is that if JI is not present, nothing is going to happen. So it's not a dependency. Like we haven't added it so that it has to be there. It's just that if it is there, then it will be used. And if it's not there, then it's totally fine. Your mod will still work totally fine. Now I'd say that is pretty freaking cool. But of course, you now want to know how this all looks like. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, are back in Minecraft. And first of all, you can see that JI has been successfully added to the game. And if I were to right click here, you can see show recipes and then the game crashes. Absolutely amazing. Well, I have reverted back to 1921.1248. So this is the sort of the first downgrade that we've done uh, because the issue actually lies within the recipe category method or class rather, because the draw method, nope, that is a no-go. What we actually want is we want to override the get background method, delete the draw method, and just disregard the fact that the get um, background method over here will actually be, well, sort of deleted if we go to all places over here. Uh, actually, let's just do this. This is going to be easier. So yes, it is deprecated. It's fine. But the idea is that this basically returns the drawable and that will then, and even though it is, you know, deprecated for removal, if we draw it ourselves, it doesn't work. So even though it says you can optionally draw the background in the draw method, 
Well, that doesn't work for some reason. It basically crashes it and says the thing is not registered yet. However, if we do it this way, right, and we just return the get background method all of a sudden, even within Minecraft, everything freaking works. Yeah, so I don't know why this is the case. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you use APIs like JEI or REI or whatever API you might want to use, right, do note that, well, they specifically JEI and REI and things like that, they update very frequently and they do more changes than Minecraft sometimes. Uh, but yeah, that, that's basically sometimes the case. Regardless of this, though, now it all freaking works and you can clearly see I can click on this. I can see the recipes. I can even hover over the raw bismuth, press U to see all of the different uses and you can see the growth chamber here is also there. And I should also be able to uh, do, let's say, the, where is it, Bo bismuth, how can I create this with R, right, and I can see that via the growth chamber, it works absolutely freaking fantastic, and that is JI compatibility added to our Minecraft mod. And here, the tiniest addendum in the JI tutorial mod plugin class, we're also going to override the register recipe catalysts method, and we're going to call registration dot add recipe catalyst with a new item stack for mod blocks dot and there's going to be the growth chamber dot get or as item is totally fine either one after the second closing parenthesis will then also pass in the growth chamber recipe type dot growth chamber recipe recipe type and this allows you to do the following if I now hover over the growth chamber and press U, I will also get this as a quote unquote catalyst. So basically, if you have multiple different versions of the same block entity, let's say, or that uses the same recipe type, adding them there will also then put them all together, so to speak. All right, as per usual, all of the code is, of course, linked in the description below in the GitHub repository. But that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, I actually don't know quite yet what we're going to cover, but you can see it right here on the screen. So hope to see you there. So.